Hi everyone guys. When we are preparing for a show, cues or let's say another way, effects are most important for us. In Avalanche Titan, we have few options to make effects. Shape generator, keyframe shape and pixel mapper. So today we are going to talk about shape generator. If you haven't seen the previous video that I did about groups and group layout, please go and check it. It will be much easier for you to make effects through shape generator if you know how to edit your groups and group layout. So the link is in the description and in cards too. So go and check it out. First of all, I'll show you how to go to shape generator or how to start creating effect through shape generator. First, you have to select a group of fixed. Then you have to go to here shape and effects, shape generator. You can see some option in here. So I'll talk about them. Then I'll go inside and create an effect. The first one is create. That's the button you have to press if you're beginning to create an effect through shape generator. And edit, if you're going to edit the effect that you have built from shape generator. And the direction, adjust, beat and cycles and other two buttons we'll talk about when you begin to create the effect. So now I'll go to create. Now you can see these are the all effects that we can create through shape generator. Dimmer, pan tilt, color, gobo, beam and effects. It depends on the fixture type that you have selected. I selected spots, moving spots. So it has all these functions, dimmers, gobos, pan tilts. When I select dimmer, you can see here in intensity shapes, you can see dimmer addictive, dimmer pulse and many more types of uh, dimmer effects. And if I go back and select pan tilt, you can see these are the pan tilt effects that I can create through shape generator. Again, colors, these are the color effects that I can make through shape generator. And gobos, these are the gobo effects. Beam, you can see focus and zoom, flicker, iris, you can make effects through these attributes so those are the attributes that we can make effects through shape generator so for you to show i'll make an effect through pan tilt so i'll go to pan tilt and i'll select tilt swing now you can see my fixtures started to tilt it's swinging and now i'll show you the adjustments what we can do when you're editing an effect Inside shape generator, in this edit button, you have few options. So select shape is, you can uh, edit, you can run two or three shape generators or more at simultaneously. So you can select the shape. So if you are running a tilt swing and a dimmer effect, if you want to edit the tilt one, you have to come here and select the tilt swing, then press enter. If you want to edit the dimmer, uh, dimmer effect, in shape generator you have to come here and select that uh, dimmer effect and press enter and you can same like that you can delete this till effect or if that uh, dimmer and again this is edit fixture group so when i go here add or remove fixtures from this effect and the fixture order then edit groups i can uh, edit here the fixture order and the layout of the group and the restart shape to restart the uh, effect, uh, if you have done altering some uh, options, then you can come here and restart shape and you can see how it will uh, trigger when you press the button. Now, uh, the direction. So the direction won't do much effect if your spread is still one. One means all your fixtures will uh, pan or tilt or work as one fixture. So I'll show you when I, the, the direction is to left from left so you can see when i increase the number of spread the fixture started to go from left to right in a sequence so if i bring it back to one you can see all fixtures work as one if i make it two you can see the fixture started to work in group of two so you can see when i come here if it is still in one spread one the all fixtures will tilt as a one group. When I go to two, you can see the fixtures divided into two groups and it, it tilts in two times. 
and I, I can increase the amount and it will divide into more groups. The effect will run through this direction. So if I change this direction, you can see the direction change. If I run this, you can see the effect now change more. So I'll do is I'll keep four. You can see if I change it into this. So I'll give this a, another color so you can see properly. And let me zoom it. See, you can see now when I decrease the uh, spread, the whole fixtures work as one. And when I increase, it changes the uh, group of fixtures that work in together. And here, the adjust beats and cycles. Cycles means I can give it one, then the effect will run one time and stop. You can see, if I restart, it will run the full circle of the effect for one time and it stops. And if you're playing this effect to BPM, you can make it four, then when you restart and you can see, so the one effect divides into four beats, that like that. If, the, if this is one, it runs, uh, the effect runs within one bit, that means more faster. If I make it to four, it means it will make the effect more slower. So I'll show you again. So you can see now the effect is running slower. So I'll put back to infinite, now the effect will run continuously. Then you can see uh, the, here the speed, you can increase the speed or you can click here and give a tempo here and press enter, sorry, you have to give here if it is seconds or BPM, so I'll select BPM, so now you can see it's speeded up. So in here if you're making an effect for a particular song and you know the tempo, you can uh, type it in and save the cue and if not, you can keep it to your normal tempo and you can adjust the tempo in later from uh, using BPM masters. And about BPM master and other masters, I have done another video. So go and check it out. Link is in the description. Now let's go to adjust and face. You, can, uh, you saw that when I uh, change the spread, my face is also changing. You can either change it through your spread or face. And the offset is, I'll show you what the offset is. So if I select, you can see, I'll select my down spot and offset it to 180. Now you can see my down spot, I'll show you. My down spot's uh, direction changed. So you can play with these effects and uh, make different kind of effects. So I'll show you one effect that I made uh, in my dream stage videos. Uh, if you haven't seen those videos, go and check them out. So let's see, I'll select my spots, I'll locate them and I'll reduce the, right? reduce the zoom, shape, shape generator, kit, pan, tilt, then I select circle. Then I'll reduce the size, then I move it forward. Close spots, select, and I bring it forward. Okay, now I'll increase my size again. Oh, I forgot to tell you about size. Uh, so you can see here, when I change the size, if I bring it to zero, it stays in the position that I have given in pan and tilt. And when I increase the size, you can see this. this now the circle size is increasing. So this, so I'll keep uh, this as my size of the effect. Okay, now I have to spread it. Sorry, I need to select all and spread. I'll spread it to four. Okay. Oh, let's do like this. I'll keep it to zero and I'll go here and I'll select the left half. 
and go here and I'll face it. Then I select all my pictures, edit and restart shape. Now you can see here, when the left section go to one side, the right section go to other side. So you can see still uh, that uh, right side one is not synced properly. So I, what I have to do is I have to go select the right half again and go to direction and reverse selected pictures. So when I press it, I'll go all sports again and edit restart shape. Now you can see it uh, moves synced. So, so you can see when I increase the spread, both sets uh, move the opposite directions and uh, spread accordingly. And here I can, if you want to increase the size, I can increase the size. Or if I want to increase the spread, I can increase the spread. And once you're done with the effect, what you have to do is click record and decide the mode that you want to record. I mostly record it in channel mode. Uh, I place it in a playback fader or playbacks window. So guys, that's about shape generator. So give it a try and let me know how it went. And don't forget to share your thoughts and share your comments and ideas and share how you make your effects through shape generator and if, don't forget to leave a comment how you make your effect and if you know a new way a new effect to make with shape generator we also love to learn from you so the comment section is open for you so till we meet with new knowledge to share keep in touch and keep learning every day god bless you